Okay, so I'm gonna install these piano hinges today. This one's obviously not in, I'm just setting it in place. Um, I'll show you how to cut these later, but um, basically what you wanna do is, um, you don't really have to measure the distance, but more measure how it's gonna line up. You know, so in this case, if I were to actually cut it right here, I'd have a screw hole right here. So what I did is I just centered it so I have screw holes down about the same amount of distance on each side and then it'll it'll take up about you know all but about a three quarter of an inch here and three quarter of an inch here on the um, the lid that's basically how I want it to sit so it's just flush so what I'm going to do in this case is um, take this lid off and then screw it into the lid first and uh, go from there so I'm just going to line up the top of the hinge with about the top of the wood here so you will have to you know if your carpet's new um, factor in a bit for the carpet when you're doing it so just push it down feel lined up I'm gonna start from the center hole and then work my way out each way I think it'll uh, lay out a little bit easier doing it like that okay so once you get a couple in um, on the bottom side here just double check it make sure it's right I just shimmed it up with some screws that's about the height that I'm going to need. Just like that, so you can see. And uh, just get those last holes done. And it's good. You just have to make sure, you know, especially when you have as tight a clothing lid as this one, right here, you're lined up and over here. Um, so you got to go this way as well as your height. Okay, so that's it installed. You can always double check that there's no play in it. It's, it's pretty good and solid in there. So we'll just get a couple latches for this thing. What I'm gonna do is put a latch here and a latch here. And I'm, I need to get some uh, aluminum supports. I need a little L bracket made up that goes like this and then down here just to put some support here because when you walk on this it's not the, uh, the strongest. And then my latch will be able to twist under that. And I'm going to do that for uh, this side obviously as well. Okay so the next spot I have the, uh, the next hinge to do is on the live well here. This first thing I have to do screw this piece in this was a new piece I made because the old one was rotted out so uh, I'm gonna get that attached here first and then again same idea screw this thing down line up my live well lid how I want it attach the hinge to the live well lid and then to this piece and then it's all set okay so I've got the uh, hinge laid out here I'm just going to determine where to cut. My best spot to cut is going to be right here. You got to also make sure when you have these screws in here, if you had that line up uh, the screw hole like so, you got the screw back here. So when you go to put this one in, it might hit it and it's just going to run into a lot of trouble that way. But that's basically what I want, just like that. And so my cut. It's going to be right here. Ideally, I'd like to cut in between the two, um, but I'll cut just right on this one right here. So you can see there's that little notch there. It's kind of what you want to line up your side cutters with. And I've just got a set of these good side cutters here that'll go through that no problem. So I'll basically cut this ear, that ear, and then cut the middle rod. Now this rod that uh, is holding the hinge won't come out because you have these little um, hits here with like a punch that'll hold it all in place. 
so uh, you don't have to worry about that sliding out on you. So do the same thing here. Install it on this piece uh, that's fastened down first, or second I should say. We'll do it to the lid first and then to this piece. One thing you want to remember with the screws is you want to get the uh, taper head screwed, not these flat head screws. So that way when your hinge closes, you can see here when that closes like that, if you had two screw heads, I mean that's only the diameter or the thickness of uh, one there. Whereas these, they'll recess in a little bit. So they'll sit down into the hole like that and you can get two in there. So you just want to make sure you buy screws with that tapered head.